Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from Heavy Seas. This is Americanon. I love the play on words. It's good. I don't know much about this beer. Cool bottle cap, nothing on the inside. It says uh, Heavy Seas, established 1995. Climb aboard. This is an American pale ale. So I learned something else about American pale ales over India pale ales. Um, American pale ales tend to be a little lighter than India pale ales, like I had mentioned earlier. And um, part of what makes an American pale ale, an American pale ale, is American versions of hops. So uh, it's hop variants that are native to the U.S. Great color, very clear, um, kind of like a dark apple juice. Very. Uh, very citrusy, but more of an orange citrus, more, more like orange, orange smell, slight floral smell. Let's take a first sip. Oh, that's good. Very refreshing. Yeah, doodles that refreshing. Let's see what we got for some stats on this one. We have 5.75 uh, ABV, you can't taste alcohol at all. Um, this is very drinkable. It's one of those beers probably the warmer it is out the better it tastes. I've used only 40 which is pretty low for for an IPA, it's very low, but for an APA, it's still pretty, pretty low. The suggested uh, glass for this beer is a tulip pint glass, which is uh, like a pint glass, but it's, uh, but it's curvy. I don't have one, so this we're getting a regular pint glass. Pint glass. Um, Ten ninety nine. A six pack. Man, this is going down very easy. Let's look at some of the <clears throat> ingredients in this beer. So we have Warrior, Cascade, Centennial, Simcoe, and Palisades hops. That's that's quite the uh, hop bill. And for malts, we have two row, light crystal, and caramel malts. Um, it says double dry hopped American Pale Ale, but it's not as hoppy as I would have expected. I'm not mad about it. It's very tasty, very drinkable. Um, very cool bottle. It's got kind of a watercolorish um, label. It looks kind of antique, the American American. It's got a excuse me. It's got a um, Uncle Sam hat with a hop coming out of it, like a magician's hat, but it has stars and stripes on it. I'm uh, so far. This is my first thing I've had from Heavy Season. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, born near. The harbor of Baltimore, raised in the spirit of exploration. Independently brewed since 1995. Capture brews, we craft brews that capture the sense of adventure. Fearless, bold, independent. Put the wind at your back and enjoy the heavy seas. Pretty good. Very easy drinking. I'm, I'm surprised. I, I was expecting.
something a little heavier, a little fuller. This is one you could definitely have a couple of. I, I think you'd be at three or four before it started feeling heavy at all. I mean, I just ate a little while ago. And, um, I mean, so I'm not, I mean, I, you know, I'm very satiated from eating dinner. So sometimes a beer after dinner feels heavy because it's going on top of whatever. But this feels light and clean. And it, um, the, the finish of this almost has a, like some wines almost have a, like an almondy buttery finish. And I'm not quite sure what ingredients cause that. In wine, it might come from the barrel, but this almost has that same very, very clean, flavorful finish. But not in your face flavorful, like it's a subtle, but it's there. Maybe just a slightly more than subtle finish. Man, that is delicious. I'm gonna have to pick up some more of this. This, this is really good. It makes me wanna try some other heavy sea stuff now. I would say this is probably my uh, biggest surprise yet i mean i i was definitely not expecting a beer this good um ranking Let's see if there's any, another drop left in the bottle there i'm gonna rate this a i'm gonna rate this a four which is pretty high for a beer with no complexity and some of the other stuff that that I usually rate beers that high on but the flavor is just great and it's such a I've talked about this before there's a certain organization of flavors it, they all kind of flow together and, and they they gel well together and this is just really good um, as the weather gets hot excuse me as the weather gets hotter I'm definitely gonna have to pick up some more of this this is really, really good. This is on par with the Oak Age Thai Lai, which I also have um, and will be re reviewing shortly. That's, I mean, this is definitely on par with that. They are, th this is it, this is, I would say, as good as the um, Cigar City Oak Age Thai Lai. Maybe I'll do one of those next. Man. But until next time, cheers.